Hello everyone, you're welcome to the second part of the results from the diffusion experiment of a pure saver on how to calculate the activation energy of the polycrystal. Now we have um, a result from the diffusion experiment of a pure saver being given below and we are asked to calculate the polycrystal activation energy since we have already calculated the single crystal so how do we calculate the activation energy of a self diffusion of a polycrystal the temperature 1 600 temperature 2 1000 then we had 273 to convert to kelvin t1 had give us 873 kelvin t2 give us 1273 Kelvin. Our D1 from the polycrystal 1.0 um, times 10 to the power minus 15. We have it. Our D2 1.2 10 to the power minus 12, which is a polycrystal. From there, we have our gas constant, which is always given parameter 8.314 joules per Kelvin. From there, we can slot every parameter into our equation, which we have here. Q, which is activation energy of the polycrystal, equals minus R to bracket T1, T2 over T2 minus T1 times natural logarithm of D1 over D2. From there, we slot in our parameters. Our activation energy, which equals minus 8.13, 314 times the temperature T1 multiplied by temperature T2 over temperature T2 minus T1 multiplied by the natural logarithm of the polycrystal 1.00 times 10 to the power minus 15 over 1.26 times 10 to the power minus 12. This gives us 165.05 kilojoules per mole. Once again, our activation energy for the polycrystal give us 165.05 kilojoules per mole. Thank you very much.